So one study that I really like to reference around this was a it was an autopsy study. What percent do you, would you guess microplastics were detectable in livers, kidneys, and brains? Less than 0.01%. I mean, I mean, the hope is just negligible. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, that's the hope. Yeah. But it's 100%. The levels in the brain, this is alarming, were 10 times on average the levels in the kidneys or the livers. So there were about 12 people in this study who died with Alzheimer's mm. or dementia in their brains. Those brains of those 12 individuals, as compared to the brains of the ones who didn't die with dementia Alzheimer's, were 10 to 20 times more than the brains of the people who didn't have Alzheimer's dementia. So not only 10%, 10 times as much microplastic in the brain on average, but then tenfold on top of that to 20-fold for those who died with Alzheimer's dementia. Now, this is what we call a correlation, so we're not saying necessarily that the microplastics caused the dementia or Alzheimer's. They can't say that from that study, but it's very suspicious that we had a 10 to 20x on average level of microplastics in the brains that were demented. So what's the theories around this and what do we do about it like why are these people storing more microplastics is it, is it purely exposure or is it something with their metabolism or both or? yes yes and yes <laughs> yeah